Yo, what's up, Blackish fam? I hope all is well in your corner of the world. Uh, man, we've been getting into some Aesop Rock. He's definitely one of the more lyrically dense, if not one of the most <laughs> um, lyrically dense artists that we went over on the station. Um, but I love it. It's, it's definitely a form of trivia. Now, there's a lot of uh, references that are not just uh, historical references, depending on, like we just did uh, Pizza Alley, right, where he's talking about Lima, Peru. Uh, we've done Mystery Fish. We've done uh, Kirby about his cat. Uh, we've done Daylight. Uh, now we're getting into Wolf Piss as we continue down the Garbology album. Uh, album. Uh, a couple people have reached out and they're like, yo, you know, you, you, you started off Garbology. You, you know, man, if you just knock them out, let's go over the full album. But uh, I think this definitely deserves more time. I don't want to just let it ride and just have a video. You know, I hate seeing those YouTube reactors where it's just like, yeah, okay, man, he's the sickest artist ever. He's just the most lyrically dense, his vocabulary. You know, and they, but they're not breaking down anything. And I start to think that a lot of people might not get all of his references, especially these reactors that are, are supposed to be, you know, dissecting it and whatnot. Um, so I wanted to dedicate some time to actually giving it a thorough breakdown where we're going bar for bar and really trying to decipher what he means. Um, now, for those that have listened to Aesop Rock, uh, this is no small task, right? Uh, he's extremely complex. So uh, feel free to leave your comments if there's something I should reference or if I'm missing something. Uh, let me know. I don't even know if my this is my interpretation. This is also my first time hearing the song. So uh, it's a little bit of a reaction. I'm sure as I go back and I found this with, uh, you know, when I ran Mystery Fish back, I realized that a lot of my lyrics were wrong when I looked at the actual lyrics. Uh, it was just a video that I was watching. Uh, so hopefully this has uh, this is another lyric video. Um, but I wanted to give it a chance. It's, it's so much easier when I have the lyrics on the screen uh, to, 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 to kind of understand and, and piece this together. But, uh, yo, let's dive right into it. This is Wolf Piss. Um, now, Wolf Piss, uh, you know, you could kind of already take from that, right? Wolf Piss is used to scare... Um, scare away other animals because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's something that marks their territory. Um, so I'm assuming uh, this has something to do with that. Let's check it out. Those are my first thoughts there. I didn't find an actual video, uh, so there might, might not be one, I'm, I'm guessing. Put my thinking cap on. Oh, I like that beat. Okay, let's just get right into it. Uh, spin, spin doc, right? A spin doctor. He said, sweet dreams go Hitchcock. Um, <clears throat> he's referring to Alfred Hitchcock. Um, this is uh, uh, Sir Alfred Hitchcock, if we're, uh, Joseph Hitchcock, if we're being uh, correct. This is an English filmmaker. Um, he was really one of the most influential figures uh, in cinema at one point, right? He has over 50 feature films. Um, he's uh, known as uh, like the master of suspense. Um, he does a lot of cameo roles, just like uh, you might see in the Marvel world, um, you know, with people. And, uh, of course, everybody knows the uh, the Alfred Hitchcock present series that was from uh, 1955 to 1965. Now, this is something you might think of, uh, you know, uh, Elvira, right? Uh, Sven Gulli, right? Old school, but uh, uh, Twilight Zone, um, Tales from the Crypt. Uh, but this is one of those original shows that... Um, yeah, it was really suspenseful, but kind of dark as well. Um, so he says, for sweet dreams, go to Hitch Hitchcock. Uh, he's talking about a thing of, imagine a spectrum. And these are uh, kind of opposite ends of the spectrum, if you would. Uh, run it back a little. Let's run it. Spin doc, sweet dreams, go Hitchcock. Discord, but no sick days. Discord, uh, I know a lot of people think of that differently now, but um, Discord is... Um, uh, disagreement with two people as well. Um, or at least it was more considered that 10 years ago, right? Spin doc, sweet dreams go Hitchcock. Discord with no sick days. Limb straight, then all rip stop. Faded ink on my rib cage, my glass heart, my shit, <laughs> my jaguars, my beautiful New York strip steak. Now there's some wordplay there, but there's some, uh, uh, definitely there, he's, he's being very descriptive here. Limbs draped. Uh, an all rib stop, I believe. Uh, uh, all rip stop is what he said right before this. Um, now you're starting to paint this picture, but he says faded ink on my rib cage. So 
um, he's telling us that he's aging, right? Uh, the, the ink is fading. Um, so it's just, it, you know, he could be about to get very introspective, right? Look at the la- look at the next lines. He said, my glass heart, my ship, uh, uh, my ship brains, right? Now, so faded ink first, right? It's indicative that he's aging. Glass heart is, um, you know, glass heart is a, a, a like a fragile uh, romantic state. Right, it's one uh, who's easily broken-hearted. Right, uh, but you consider he's he's saying, "I'm fragile. I'm I'm older. I'm fragile. My shit brains." He's saying, "I'm an idiot over certain things." Right, I have shit instead of brains. Um, you know, it's limiting my capacity to do things because I don't think with, I don't uh, cr- properly plan things out. Right, I have shit for brains. My glass heart, my shit brains, my jack bars around beautiful New York strip steak. Could be talking about the New York strip, right? Almost like the Las Vegas strip, but he also word plays it in with strip steak there. Cage, my glass heart, my shit brains, my jack bars around beautiful New York strip steak. Ain't shit change. Do the love with these blueprints have been shoot, shoot have been boo hissed. Shoot up, he's too much. I ain't too much. Y'all too grim. <laughs> yeah, he listened to what he said, right? He said. Um, my Jaguar was around beautiful New York strip steak, right? And then he said, and shit chains doodle over these blueprints. So, you know, is he, is he, he's, he might be actually talking about, does he drive a Jaguar, right? He's, he's going down New York, right? He's saying, and shit changed. He said, started saying, I've been boo, I've been shoo shooed, I've been boo hissed. Now he's talking about experience, right? He's talking about life experience. He said, and shit changed. He's been here before, right? He's been in this environment before. Um, he said, I've been booed, right? I've been hissed at. I've been chewed up. Um, they say he's too much. Kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Eminem and the Marshall Mathers album, right? Uh, where yeah, he needed a single at the time. Uh, and he had just come out with the real slim, uh, not the real slim shady, but uh, My Name Is. And like, how do you match that, right? And supposedly he went into Interscope Records and he has this meeting uh, and they're like, how can I sell this? What is this, right? This is racist, my, my, my misogynist, right? All this, um, it's all these things. Well, supposedly he was on the airplane going back and he had this beat in his head and he started writing down. I sit back and uh, relax with the zigzag in this bag of this weed. It brings me the shit needed to be the most fairest MC on the sea on this earth, right? And he gets into uh, the way I am. The Way I Am is the first time Eminem got uh, production credits for actually coming up with the beat because he said that beat was just in his head. But what does he say? He says things like, um, <clears throat> I'm so sick and tired of being admired that I wish that I would just die or get fired. Right? But then the name is, I'm not going to be able to top all my name is. Uh, right? And and uh, it sounds like he's um, he was kind of getting to some of that Aesop Rock and my apologies, a little weed might have kicked in there. <laughs> um, but uh, what he's saying, right? He's saying, uh, chewed up, he's too much. I ain't too much, right? What did he say? Y'all too prim, right? Chewed up, he's too much. I ain't too much, y'all too prim. World's end around curfew when they rotate grotesque forms. Sneak up with some mech suit. Make off with their best tours. <laughs> what he's saying, it's so like, it's it's hidden. Right, because he said, um, he "Chewed up, he's too much. I ain't too much, y'all too prim. Prim. When you when you say uh, when you describe someone as prim, uh, your your disapproval of them is because they behave um, too proper, too correct. Right? They're they're shocked by anything vulgar. He's like, and you guys, he, he basically stop acting like a bitch. Right? This is an educated, more polite way of saying, uh, man up." Where your balls at? Stop back then, bitch like. You got bitch like tendencies, right? That's what he's saying. Um, uh, but uh, what he let's let's run it back. <laughs> yeah, I love that part. Um, you know, he said world world's end around curfew. Um, when they wrote rotate grotesque form, sneak up in some mech suit. A mech suit, uh, you can think of like a mobile suit. Think of like an avatar, right? Um, yeah, uh, you know, it's like a uh, there's a, a pilot inside of this mechanical suit. It's normally heavily armed. You think of like uh, Doom or uh, Unreal Tournament, something like that. Um, uh, that's what you think of. 
make off of their best horse. You know, there was a lot of horse theft uh, back in the day. You know, think about it. That was the equivalent of carjacking and leaving someone possibly in the middle of nowhere. Like, if you relied on a horse, um, you know, there, there was severe punishment. Um, you know, you, crimes, you can get, you know, shaming, public shaming, right, banishment. Um, but you can also get uh, tortured, exiled, even death uh, for stealing someone's horse. So it sounds funny today. It almost sounds like a pirate that uh, taking someone's boat. It's like, you know how slow a boat, a big ass pirate ship that you think of would pull off? Like that just seems so dramatic. Like you could see it happening, but maybe you can't control it. Um, you know, you're powerless, right? Um, and maybe it's the same, right? It would make off with their best horse. Maybe they couldn't do anything, but I'm like, man, it just sounds so medieval. Best horse. <laughs> uh, uh, roads paved with pulled pins. Now, I guess that can mean different things. It could easily be a metaphor, but a pulled pin... Um, it's a pin that when you disconnect it, it unlocks normally two parts of a mechanism or you can connect a machine. Um, but you can you can do that or I guess you could actually reverse that process as well. But um, that's what a pulled pin is. It would be something that disconnects or unlocks something. Uh, but he said hood sprayed with wolf piss. <clears throat> now wolf piss, obviously the name of the song, you know, what I think of first is uh, wolf piss is something that's used to keep other, like it can keep coyotes away because they think that there's a, lo a large predator in that area, right? It tricks them into thinking that someone is around. Um, so wolf's piss, you know, it sounds like so far he's talking about his time on, uh, uh, in the game almost, right? He talked about in the strip in New York, right? And shit changed, right? He's, he's been there. He's done that. Um, but it also sounds like he might be growing as well or grew. Um, and I, I'm wondering if Wolf Piss, if he's like Teen Wolf, old Michael J. Fox, right? Standing on a van. <sighs> I remember that. Who's old? I just probably dated myself. I love that scene where he runs down and he just dunks the ball. <sighs> All right, let me uh, run the Now, a tire fire, that's also, you know, for those that don't know, for the, the breakdown, it's like it's a disaster, right? And it, it's a tire fire is noticeably more, um, it, it, it's known for being very difficult to put out, right? Um, they produce a lot of smoke, and that smoke carries toxic chemicals from the breakdown of, like, synthetic rubber, right? There's there's compounds in that that when they burn, they, they just jack up your neighborhood, right? Um, but uh, tire fires, they're normally, uh, it's normally arson, <laughs> to be honest. But um, <coughs> normally, just because of the quantity of tires that are uh, normally stored in locations like this, they're either dumped or they process them. They, um, it could either be a really fast burning event, right? And you get uh, this big, amazing fire that's going to go out. But uh, 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 a particular tire, like if it were an actual tire fire, now, you can actually look at that as something that can uh, burn long term as well. Um, so, again, it, it doesn't really say much uh, to me uh, because he's saying engineer of this tire fire. I almost want to identify tire fire um, as not just a disaster, but the proportion of the disaster. And I can't really do that because I can't narrow it down more unless there's other context I'm not hearing. But uh, back. <laughs> I might peace out of my deep freeze. Like, yo, you might be poking a, you know, uh, poking a sleeping giant because there's a really urban meaning. When you say come pull up, it doesn't mean like it used to 10 or 15 years ago, um, where it's just like, yo, pull up, I'll run outside. Nowadays, in the more urban context, pull up means you're going to uh, go into a confrontation. Like, man, I'll pull up on dude if he blah, 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 right? They're, they're not saying they're going to drive up and, hey, what's going on? You need a ride? <laughs> no, he's talking about, you know, I'm going to pull up. Like, yo, man, I heard you've been talking shit. Make my name taste like ass when you speak it. Your jewelry, you can keep it, right? I was that Biggie, old Biggie. Um, <clears throat> but I think that's what he's saying. Sounds like he's um, he's kind of flexing if, I, if I'm hearing this right. 
um, he's talking about his place in rap, talking about he's evolving. He might actually be turning into maybe not necessarily a teen wolf, but like a werewolf, right? Um, you know, like he's uh, let, let's let's listen to this. Maybe it's not just wolf piss to to, but he's marking his territory as the beast. You know, yo. It's out of my deep freeze. Ooh. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, listen to what he said. He said, yo, you pull up with that bullshit. Um, he was saying he might sweep in and get two shade. Now, that could have a double meaning. I'm, I'm pretty sure knowing ASAP Rock, it does. Um, but touche is spelled like touch, right? But uh, touche, you know, has the, uh, the the accent. I think of old Tom and Jerry. Touche, pussycat. Touche, right? The little, uh, I don't know what was his brother or his cousin or so. Um, uh, but that, you know, you could say it in fencing for sure, touche, but you could also use it as like, um, you know, uh, like if you're arguing with someone, right. Or you have like a really witty point and you're like, all right, motherfucker, touche, touche. I see you, bro. I feel you. You got a little comeback ready. Okay. Touche, motherfucker. Right. That's kind of what you could say when you say, uh, touche. Um, but it, you know, listen to how he's using it, um, you know, he's talking about treating dudes, right? He says, uh, is, is the engineer bullshit. Peace out of my deep freeze. Like two shakes, soup in to get two shakes. You know, is he talking about, um, I wonder if he's talking about a specific flower, right? Uh, but he said, uh, tune into my blue phase. Now, if you guys know any, uh, you know, I like in history, you think of the military, they have a ceremony. It's, it's actually called a turning blue ceremony. It's before graduation. It, it, celebra it celebrates the uh, final portion of uh, the training process, I believe. But uh, he also says, uh, turn into my blue phase. It could be a transition. Uh, you know, he said, uh, uh, until my blue phase October. I'm in blue when that cold snap and the wind croon. So that's like, you know, it's, it's obviously fall. He could be talking about, um, you know, there's sage. When you talk about sage or salvia, uh, this is something that blooms in fall, right? It's October, it turns blue. Um, but a lot of people use sage to cleanse the air too, right? You use sage to cleanse uh, the air for spirits. That might be reaching, but... Um, that that's what it's used for. Um, let's let's listen again for context. With wolf piss, this tire fire come pull up on that bullshit. I might peace out of my deep <coughs> turn pale death and like I'm two shakes. And get two shade. Tune in my blue phase. October I'm get ripped, right? You might swoop in and get ripped too. And two shade, motherfucker. Bye. Yeah, he's definitely uh he's definitely uh, a city boy, right? Uh, he's uh, he got his trail mix, right? And his uh, he got a fanny pack. My left, right. <laughs> you know, it's funny. He says mush. Uh, when dogs mush, that's mushing, right? That's a that's a sport. Or I guess it could be a transport method. But uh, you're talking about dogs with like pulling a cart, right? Or like dog scootering, or what most people would know is like sled dog racing, um, or pulling weight. Um, but it it just implies uh, dogs pulling. A sled, right? Um, oh, why? You know, is it, I, I don't get that part. Is he fighting? No roads, but sticking, yeah, stick and move around dead light. He ain't talk much. Step aside from my left, right. Stick and move and left and right. Uh, yo, it sounds like this is a, a boxing talk. Like I feel like I missed something. Okay, could be could be fighting. You step up on that bullshit, bullshit, right? 
uh, hood sprayed with wolf piss. He said, "I'm the in he's the engineer of this tire fire, right?" With wolf piss, engineer this tire fire. Come pull up on that bullshit. Come pull up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out of my sleep, shake it off, swoop in and start getting fucking you up, right? Yeah, see, now that makes me think that uh, he's talking about this transition period like you would with, like, Teen Wolf, right? Or uh, a grown-ass man, right? A werewolf. You know, days seem normal, but the nights get pretty weird, right? Arr! <laughs> right? The old full moon, and then he's transitioning, right? And he's turning into that werewolf. But it sounds like, yo, he could be saying, like, I have evolved in this rap game uh, to a beast, right? If he's saying that, that would be sick. Um, but they could also be reaching. I'm gonna run it back. I move around dead light, he ain't talk much. Step aside from my left, right, I'm like on one. Never mind when he's doing dogs mush. Normal, but the nights nice. get pretty weird. Trip the wrong light, y'all might get disappeared. <laughs> I'm in here. He set off security, you might disappear, bro. <laughs> Black Dawn, that's a that's a specific event, uh, right? Uh, that's um, Black Dawn. It was like a, a, a it's an exercise that they did. Uh, it's about terrorism. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that 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 happened, but that was uh, after 9/11. Uh, let me just listen and make sure you reference them right there. Black Dawn about yeah, yeah, Black Dawn. So you know, uh, it, it, it's like a scenario-based uh, exercise. It's about like weapons of mass destruction, about terrorism. Um, this was something that was uh, for the EU, right? This is for NATO, um, European governments, right? This is uh, uh, basically an exercise uh, in terrorism. Black Dawn. I mean, this is Fawn tracks are like deer prints, right? You can think of. These mole rats get dragged off to this golf clap. <laughs> golf clap is almost like clapping for the wrong reasons. A golf clap is that. <laughs> right? It's like that, that bitch ass clap that almost like, I don't want to clap too loud, but I want to show that I'm clapping, right? It's almost fake. Like. Dawn of a Fawn track. Small rats get dragged off to this golf clap. Bath salts in my black coffee. I'm back. Dude, that's ugly. Bath salts? That's like a, that's a drug, right? Um, if you ever hear of uh, like people, who are those zombies a few years ago? People were like, it looks like zombies. And he's like biting somebody's face. And they, they find out that this dude's on bath salts. It's not your bath body balm, right? Um, they're talking about there's different names. Some people call it bliss. People call it ivory wave. Um, some people just say bath salts and these people look like meth heads, but, um, you can die, right? You can die. There's synthetic chemicals that, um, they're very similar to amphetamines. Um, but, uh, uh you know, the funny thing is too, that, um, I, 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 uh, I'm pretty sure they're illegal. Um, I don't know a, a lot about them, but I, I think the chemicals in them are definitely, they, they do, they fuck you up, right? You're, you're basically like a, uh, psych psychotic break for schizophrenic and shit. You know, it's just, it's jacked up. These mole rats get dragged off to this golf clap. <laughs> black talk. I'm back talking that wrong path, y'all rag dolls. Tag along. Back talk, right? Those are those are rude remarks or like a oh you the cheeky, right? You being cheeky. Bath salt to my black coffee. I'm back talking that wrong path, y'all rag dolls. Tag along. If you're a tag along, you're like a, somebody's annoying little brother, right? Somebody who's persistent and, uh, you know, it, it annoyingly would follow. I guess it could mean somebody just following somebody else, too. Like, you could be a tag along and not be a child. Uh, you might just be someone like in the rap game, right? A lot of people just trying to be other people, which could be what he's referring to. Black Dawn of a Born Tracks. These 
small rats get dragged off to this golf clap. Bass salt to my black coffee. I'm back talk from that wrong path. Y'all rag dolls, tag alongs become thumbtacks on wolves. Could be saying that, yo, you you y'all rag dolls, tag alongs, you're following other people. If you become thumbtacks on a wall map. That's what? It's identifying a location. It's pinpointing somewhere on a map. Almost like you could just become a body, right? You just you might get bodied, and this is where you'll be. I'll always remember you. You'll be my motherfucking red pinpoint, right? That's you, motherfucker. That's what happened to your life. Wall maps. Rats get off. I thought he said he said dreadnought, right? Um, I'm trying to hear how he's using it. Is he talking about like the, the coat, right? You, you put on, uh, right? Dreadnought. Listen to what he says. It's somewhere around here. Black dawn of a born track. These more rats get dragged off to this golf clap. Bath salt to my black coffee. I'm back talk from that wrong path. Y'all rag dolls. Tag along. Right here. Some tax on wall maps. Dreadnought with no false flag. I'm all red cape with my real name. You know, Dreadnought, is he talking about, I don't think he's talking about the coat. I think he might be talking about a battleship, right? False flag. I'm all red cape in my real name. Like, this motherfucker is a superhero, right? Oh, look at, he said around senseis from that steel cage. Now, he's talking about some uh, wrestling. That's like Spanish wrestling. That's like that Nacho Libre shit, right? Um, actually, yeah, I think that's exactly what he's talking about. Run that back. Right, like a sensei. Think of like uh, Master Splinter and the Ninja Turtles, right? Uh, you know, no, but a sensei is like a teacher. It's an instructor, but it's usually like Japanese martial arts, right? You're talking about judo. Uh, judo. You're talking about karate. Uh, they have senseis. Um, but sensei... Um, Sensei was actually uh, like a Nacho Libre. I didn't really watch all of that movie, but uh, who's dude? Um, dude from School of Rock. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. Uh, he played Nacho Libre in the movie. Um, but Sensei, <clears throat> this was a dude. He was a Mexican. It's what they call a luchador, right? And he wears, he's a mask uh, wrestler. But it's really uh, interesting because in Mexico, um, you don't really know who that person is. They really keep their private life private uh but there was a dude uh his name was sensei um he was a he was a, a crazy ass dude um but he talks about wrestling right right here after this real name sensei so that steel cage you know he's talking about that's a steel cage battle in wrestling um i think that's a, who he's referring to red cape and he's in, in my real name Right, because the senseis again, they kept their lives extremely uh, private. See, my steel toes and my pet crow. Now, symbolically, crows, um, you know, are a symbol of death. Uh, to be honest, but it, it, it can be like a, a, a transformational process. Right from the physical to the spirit world, um, like there's there's spiritual language, right? So they might say um, it's it's not necessarily death, but it could mean um, it, it's not the the physical act of dying, right? Like uh, it could be change or transition or transformation, a new beginning, right? Um, uh, that's what a, a, t a crow would symbolize. A red phone, if you know uh, old DC Marvel comics or old, uh, like the Bat phone, right? It's that red phone that goes directly to the authority, right? Is it the White House or is it, who knows? But that phone, somebody automatically picks up and knows that it's you. Or you, you get that call and you know that that's how they reach whoever it might be, right? Um, that's what the red phone is, that emergency phone. No to my wet stone and my steel toes and my pet crow. Red phone on sleep mode. With it's on sleep mode. mode. He's not trying to be a hero anymore, right? My friend's ghost cave wide loud with no peers. White smoke from both ears. Rain gods that wave wands around biomes. Y'all hold dear. Go... Again, he referenced biomes. And I, I think I heard that in another one of his songs. Like, now there's only, 
I don't know if there's five, there's seven, there's under 10 um, categories of biomes in the world, right? There's aquatic, grassland, forest, desert, uh, tundra, um, what else, right? So, uh, but they can be divided into other categories as well, right? You could do freshwater, marine, uh, you know, tropical rainforest. Um, so there's, there's different ways of, so for him saying biome, I wonder what he means. Bone on fleet mode with Neil Rolf, my friends go for cave wide loud with Mel Pierce. White, White smoke, smoke from, from both ears. Green gods that wave wands around biomes, y'all hold dear. I go so off, but ain't no thing. I make no comment, no job beyond cold blood, a coyote king. Hone in on my smoke rings. Okay. Most often I kick rocks, but that room tone is all pin drop. Peek in on my ethos to go. See, most often I kick rocks. So he's saying, like, I mind my own business, right? More than likely, I'm just on my own shit, right? I just, yeah, I ain't going to you know, choose your battles kind of there. But he said, but where that room tone is all pin drop. So it's so quiet, right? He said, peek into my ethos. Ethos is a Greek word. Again, he referenced something Greek, uh, but it means character, right? It's, it's used to, to uh, describe someone's beliefs or someone's ideals um, or ideology, right? Um, but the, the Greeks, they also used, um, uh, the word also meant the power of music, uh, to influence emotion, right? Morals, behavior. Um, so that's what he says, peek into my ethos. That's what he means. Most often I kick rocks, but that room tone is all pin drop. Peek into my ethos to go, please hold, I will not. Creep show, we throw snow caps for these no seeds. <laughs> Comfortable around cold backs and unknown seas. Pro mag, I don't please. Cro-Mag, that's, uh, th those are the uh, prehistoric Cubans, right? Um, Cro-Magnon, I believe they are. They're uh, like Neanderth Neanderthals, right? Uh, run that back. Yeah, I think he's talking about like prehistoric humans. Disappeared. I'm in here. I'm in here. I'm in here. normal, but the nights get pretty weird. Trip the wrong light, y'all might get disappeared. I'm in here. Is there another verse? This is, it kind of sounds like he's saying, "Yo, if you fuck with me the wrong way, uh, you you push the wrong button, uh, you might fuck around and get another me." You might get the werewolf, and I'll I'll tear that ass up, right? Uh, you know, is that me, or is that am I understanding this is kind of like the wolf piss? Like, yo, I'm I'm marking my territory. I'm letting people know there's a predator around here, right? And I'm I'm telling you, if you uh, you you don't want this, right? Uh, there'll be some furniture moving around this motherfucker, <laughs> right? Uh, that's what he's saying is like, yo, you don't want that smoke, right? You don't, uh, as they say, uh, more of the urban context, right? Like, yo, bring it. Step up, right? I ain't talking about those movies. Step up, bring it on, face, right? No, I'm talking about, he's talking about bring it. Let's see how he wraps this up. There could be something else. <clears throat> yeah, like, I'm in here. He's like, yo, I'm right here, bro. Bring it, right? At least that's my interpretation. It could be confrontational. That. Or, or, woo! I'm glad. I think that little hit of the bowl I did right before the breakdown started kicking in about midway through, and I just started uh, feeling that beat a little bit and letting it ride, but. Uh, yo, it's sick. It's sick. Uh, de uh, definitely a good song. I love the hidden meaning behind this because I don't think I properly deciphered it yet. I'm going to listen to it a few more times. Hopefully there's some updates to this, but um, this is a really cool song. I think, uh, you know, I think he's definitely talking about the werewolf play and marking his place for, his, uh, you know, letting people know uh, that there's an apex predator, you know. Uh, yo, uh, sick song. And if you're a fan of Aesop Rock, uh, stay tuned because we've been uh, definitely getting into his catalog 
and I, I plan on diving into garbology and uh, exploring these different songs. <laughs> 